Welcome back. Well, Girls Night Out Altoona raises money for breast cancer fundraising when it comes to awareness and research and even treatment. Now, I was honored to be a part of their event last night. I was uh, a secret auction item, which no one knew about, but I was supposed to crash the party and make everything uh, a little bit crazy there at the end. So take a look. Here I am crashing Girls Night Out. Alrighty, folks, so we are at Girls' Night Out, uh, the auction portion. There's been 17 other items that have been auctioned off, and what they don't know is that I'm one of the secret items that's not on the list. Right now, they're auctioning off Penguins tickets, and I get to follow that. So that's great. We'll see uh, how that turns out. All right, they're just wrapping up, which means uh, it's just about my time. Here we go. Hi. Hi, everybody. Amy. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. He's crashing the girls' night out party. I've decided you're, you're selling bodies up here with the, with the guys who are selling their bodies. I am dirty. Dinner, 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 dinner. dinner I would like to offer my dinner date to the cause. <laughs> this is Abby Martin who bought me, and it's pretty funny. She paid two hundred and seventy-five dollars, <laughs> and and what's really funny is she's the wife of Altoona Curve GM Derek Martin. Oh my gosh, I'm and, and so they own me even more than they already do now. So I'll <laughs> probably have to do some babysitting or uh, go over and I do some yard work or something for oh, them. Oh, so you think that's why? But it was auctioned off for like a, a dinner date. So she got a gift card to Allegro and, and some oh, flowers. And it was really nice. That's so nice. And actually, fun story that's how they met. Like that's, and they were married. They, mm -hmm. She bought him at an auction. Yeah. N not that specific auction. No, not that specific auction, but had previously bought him at an auction. Oh, wait, that's such a great story. Yeah, absolutely I insane. love that how they meet stories. Oh my gosh, congrats. Yeah, you know who they sh You know who they should have auctioned off? This guy, meteorologist <laughs> Mike Doyle. Well, thank you. He was oh, in Hawaii, no. but we probably could have gotten top dollar for this guy. <laughs> oh, what do you think, it. Mike? Maybe 276. <laughs> Maybe, I'm thinking 276. If I was there, Jordan, I would have put 300 for you. Oh, I think we could have a special Appreciate night. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was in Hawaii. It was quite warm. I'm just not quite used to how t they're laughing in my ear right now. I'm so sorry, guys. How cool it was this morning. So, let's take a look. Here's a look. Uh, the temperature is the past 18 hours. I'm going to stop it earlier in the morning. A lot of us reached the 30s, upper 30s, and the 40s for this morning. And uh, I have been wearing a jacket all day. Even for this afternoon, a lot of sunshine. And a lot of us in the upper 60s right now. 67 now to Indiana, 68. State College at 66. So it does feel very nice outside, especially when you're in that sunshine. We're going to cool on off. Got a few clouds that are going to move in late tonight, so it's going to make us a little bit warmer than last night, but still quite cool. You still want to close the window. You still want to uh, uh, turn the heat on and also maybe a thicker blanket over you for tonight. Staying dry right now. We are going to stay mainly dry for our Friday, but a few showers are around. I will talk more about that coming up in a few minutes. All right, Mike. I'm not even going to address any of that. Uh, still to come, giving back with a green bean. You're going to need to see who we decided to ambush with muffins, coffee, and more. Stay with us.